Yeah, I mean, we, we've discussed this quite a bit um, within our sort of transplant team in Oxford, and there is also some national guidance. Um, the, the thing about stem cell transplants, there's two different types, and they're really different procedures, although in the national guidance, they're all merged into one, which I think is actually very unhelpful. But because the first procedure is an autologous transplant, which is just strong chemo, that's all it is, and the stem cells just support your body going through it. Um, and in fact, we didn't used to revaccinate. So nowadays we revaccinate people with their childhood vaccines after either type of stem cell transplant, but we didn't used to do that for autologous. And I must say, I never saw measles, mumps, you know, sort of childhood illnesses emerge in those. We do because now, because that's the sort of national guidance. Allogeneic transplants, they were very different. That's when you get a donor uh, immune system growing in your body after you've had um, the conditioning chemotherapy. And that's a very different thing because you've got a very naive immune system there growing that's not used to working with your body. So they're very two different, two, um, two different types of stem cell transplant. Um, what we've decided in Oxford is that actually for the autologous, we would be perfectly comfortable with people being vaccinated for whatever, flu, COVID, um, as, as early as one month afterwards. Now that's earlier than most of the national guidance. I think most of the national guidance is suggesting three to six months. For allogeneic, I think you do have to wait a bit longer because it's going in too early when you're on active immunosuppression, uh, as you often are to prevent uh, complications of allogeneic transplants. You probably do have to wait longer. Uh, and I would have thought at a bare minimum, it's three months. And that's what we've sort of been going with uh, in Oxford. So uh, if you've just started, you know, and you're literally having your conditioning chemotherapy, then sure, uh, you know, I don't see there's any point in being vaccinated. It almost certainly won't work at that stage. Plus, you'll be, you know, in hospital, in a side room, in pretty strict isolation nowadays in hospitals, unfortunately, with no visitors. Uh, so you will be very effectively shielded during that time. Um, so, uh, you know, you, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it if you've literally just started the stem cell transplant.